Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today, guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Why don't you be my neighbor? Today, we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. I got a cool topic for sales, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. What is our cool topic for today? Our cool topic for today, it is selling and workplace insights, having to take an aptitude test having to take a personality test to find out if you're going to be able to be a good salesperson or whatever your job opportunity is. Sometimes we have to take what they call workplace insights and they have to have these workplace personality kind of tests that they give you to kind of see if you would fit or, or maybe not. Sometimes people that are square try to put them in a circle hole and a circle hole type person trying to put them in a square, it doesn't always work. So what companies have been able to do is gleam outside the box and get some help. And I recently had a friend of mine said, hey Gary, won't you check this out? I got some opportunities to help you make some more money. Maybe you can help us sell some more AC, maybe a little bit more uh, plumbing and things of this nature. And we'd like for you to take a placement test. We'd like for you to take a, 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 a miss, emissions test, you know, to find out a little bit about who you are, a little bit of math, a little bit of uh, testing your skills with words, a little bit of test to find out, you know, what your bent is, what you believe, you know, and they give you these tests a lot of times now just to see if you can qualify for the type of work that they're trying to put you into. And the reason why is they want to make sure that if they hire you, that you're not just going to, you know, waste their time because these companies, they invest a lot of money to be able to get you acclimated. And if they have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars, they went ahead and kind of jumped over the curve and said, let's get some help. So, you know, I took a test with criteria. Uh, I'm going to turn this around real quick and show it to you. Oops, it doesn't give me that capability, or maybe it gives me a chance to take a picture. But if I can just switch it, nope, it's not going to allow me to do that. So I'm going to go ahead, and I am going to figure out how to do this without having to mess it all up for you. And I don't know if that's going to work or not. But if you can see that, it's giving you the basic capability to Gary uh, Gary's Workplace Insights test date. You know, I took it today. You know, it's at, it's a welcoming you to this particular, you know, platform. You know, there are different type personality tests that you can take. You know, DISC uh, assessment, the uh, Myers and Briggs, the MBI I mean, TIX, there's just a lot of different companies that would love to help you find out who you are, <laughs> if you're a good fit, and if you've got a company and you, you, you got a lot of different people, you have to kind of, you know, come work with you. You want to, like I said, you want to check them out, see if they're mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, I don't know what they're trying to figure out, but I know that by taking this test, they'll be able to find out if you're going to be a better fit for them. And like I said, I'm trying to give you a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of stuff. And this like particular test, it says, you know, welcome to your workplace and sites. I don't know if this is priority, but it is. I do apologize. Uh, we asked to take an assessment. So I did within the report. It's important that, you know, there's no such thing as good qualities, results, uh, Hide it, uh, uh, awareness, understanding of how better to relate with others in a workplace. So by taking this course, it gives you an attitude, talks about your work habits. It also talks about your temperament. It also, it, you know, interaction styles with different type of people. And it gave you kind of a graph here to see which was the most predominant, you know, point based on the questions that they ask you. And self-confidence is one of that I have openness, uh, achievement with my work habits motivation, uh, conscientious, you know, I'm a real hard worker, I'm assertive, uh, you know, I'm an extrovert, of course, and, uh, comp you know, competitiveness and patience, you know, I have to work on my patience, but I am very competitive. And what I like about this is it gives you some basic information about your noticeable traits, you know, your goals, uh, value achievements, set goals, priorities, assertiveness, I'm bold, I'm dominant, um, uh, and also, you know, you got a lot of different things that they look at 
you know, I'm extroverted, social, outgoing, gregarious with a cool name, which means, you know, I can talk to people that I don't know. And also, they give you competitive uh, initiative, driven, when, all this stuff. It'll give you kind of a personality uh, look to see the person that you're wanting to work with you. It's not 100%, but the test does give you a pretty good idea if they're going to be a good salesperson or what their bent is. Some people are better working in the financial aspect. Some people are better working in the office. Some people are salespeople. Some people are customer service. And by taking these these tests, you know, uh, especially this particular one at Criteria, uh, it also gives me the capability. I'm going to turn it around. I hope you can see it again. Sorry about that, guys. First time I'm doing this uh, on this work communication interaction style. I'm very goal oriented. I'm very assertive. It says I'm very conscientious and it gives a breakdown of what these things are. So if you have to take one of these personality tests, what they will do is they will give you an idea of who you are, what your skill levels are, what kind of quality of personality you are, what may be the direction you may want to go with as far as a job opportunity. And they're also going to, you know, kind of break it down and give you some insights on things that you need to, to, to change. Like, like this particular strengths and potential challenges, you know, your strengths, you know, it says there most likely uh, possess a very strong drive. And then on the other side, it's going to say, you know, why you were high drive achievement. We may, and it's going to give you, it's going to kind of critique you so you can be a better salesperson. You can work on yourself. And I'm very driven in this regard, development suggestions, work habits, uh, interaction type style, temperament, attitudes. It gives you a breakdown, you know, in your workplace strategies and what you need to improve on, what you need to work on and things that you need to look at. And uh, if you are a salesperson, if you get to take these courses, I mean, should I take take these tests? So you can evaluate yourself. It's not like, you know, th th what is that type of stuff that they used to do uh, back in the day where people would take a crystal ball and kind of say, well, you're this kind of person. Or maybe, a, you know, I'm a, I'm a Leo. I'm a, I'm a, a Sagittarius. It's not like that, guys. The, the course, the, the test that they give you, it's a cognitive test, but it's also word association. It's going to give you the information and wants you in a very quick... I, I took the little math portion of it. It gave you two questions. They weren't real, real complicated, but they got more complicated as you got through the tour. So it was like 40 questions on three different tests. And the math portion of it was like, you had six seconds to figure it out. So there's something they're trying to figure out to see if you can think on your feet how fast you are. You know, I've been in sales for a long time, so I'm not math oriented, but I am money goal oriented. And it also, I'm competitive. And it gives you the capability by taking these kind of tests to kind of figure out what your bent is. And, and companies can look at this and say, dang, I like this personality. Let's give them a shot. You know, I'm not going to say these tests are 100%, but they're pretty accurate. They're like, you know, they're not like the little Ouija board or those kind of guessing kind of courses and tests. I used to think these tests were stupid. Or I thought they were kind of weird and kind of crazy, but I came to find out they are very informative and they can help you uh, to be able to pick the right people. You know, on this one, uh, it says that I'm very goal oriented. I'm very assertive. Uh, I'm extroverted. I'm very competitive, which I already knew that stuff. But these people, when you go to look for a job or look for a career, another opportunity, or if you're changing careers, uh, they're going to ask you to take these type of courses. And these things, like I said, they will give you talk about your strengths and, you know, also your challenges. They're going to also talk about, you know, your temperaments and your attitudes, your outlook. You know, I'm very competitive and what's positive about that and what's negative about it. What motivates me, how I get motivated, how I motivate others, you know, how I deal with customers, how I'll deal with your customers, how I take care of my customers. And this is, like I said, you know, these are your work communication interaction styles, very goal oriented. That's me, very assertive and, and so forth. 
you know, and notable traits. Again, I hope this isn't copyrighted material, but it was given to me, downloaded as a PDF. So I wanted to share it and say thank you, Criteria, for doing this uh, so I can show people, you know, what's so cool. Maybe other companies will be able to use your business also. I don't make anything for promoting. I'm just showing you what I do as a salesperson. I sell real estate. I sell life insurance. But I'm always looking to make more money. So, you know, extra money and so forth. And I get my license and certifications. And a lot of times these days they want to know, you know, they want to go ahead and get a personality test on you. They want to know a little bit about your background. They want to kind of, you know, it's a rough market out there. It's a tough market. And it's hard to find good salespeople. You know, people want to get paid, but, you know, as a salesperson, we work on this magic thing called commission. So what they do is they definitely do need to be able to see what your personality traits are. Like I said, I'm goal-oriented, you know, my the values and set goals. I prioritize a lot of stuff. I'm social. I'm a bold person. I'm interactive, you know, and I like to win. And this particular setup gives you that capability to be able to see the temperament. You know, the interaction, how you deal with people. I just thought it was kind of cool, guy. So, and my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. I just took a, a work personality test. I've taken a bunch of different ones. And like I said, there's Myers and Briggs. There's disassessment. A whole bunch more. Just Google, you know, uh, the different personality assessment tests. So that way you can even find out for your own kid or you can, you know, as a business owner or company, kind of see what type of people, you know, that might want to work with you. If you work in a banking institute, you don't want somebody who's working in a warehouse. You want somebody who does what they're supposed to do. And by taking a personality test, you can kind of feel their bent. It's not 100%. Like I said, I had a lot of people didn't even know back when I was a young person that I'd end up being a salesperson. Been in sales for over 40 years, helped a lot of people get a lot of stuff. But the key to success is, you know, I, like this personality test says, I'm goal oriented. No doubt. I've got a bunch of mortgages. I got a mortgage license, insurance, real estate. I got licenses, a, a CDL class a, a, a notary. It's like, I'm goal oriented. I want to achieve. Also, you know, uh, I'm also assertive. I, if, it, look, I work on straight commission. A lot of times they may throw me a little Benny, give me a little bit of extra money, you know, pay the gas and stuff. But if I don't get out there and knock on them doors, pick up that heavy phone and start calling people, I ain't gonna make no money. So you have to be assertive and extroverted. I mean, you can be a quiet person, but sometimes you got to be able to talk to people. You got to get outside the box. You got to share. You got to think. You got to ask good questions. So you can't, you know, not talk to people. You got to market yourself. You got to let people know what you do. Whoa, that's funny. I just, sorry about that. And then the next thing is, you know, you got to be competitive. I'm competitive. I like to make money. I love to win. I've won a, I've won a lot of awards. I've had a, a lot of contests. But when you get older, most people, they want money. <laughs> money it's nice to get things like trips and so forth but when you got money to put in the bank to pay you know the car note the mortgage you got your kids i paid listen i've been in uh, sales for for over 40 years i i raised my son he's over 21 years old now we made it we worked hard together and i was able based on being a salesperson to be able to do that and the key to success, guys, if you're a salesperson or a person who's thinking about wanting to be in sales or if you're a business owner, be sincere. You can take these free personality tests to find out what your kid's bent is, what your bent is. Um, but I did have to take this workplace, <laughs> you know, insights, you know, to that way they would know who I am, what I'm all about, if I'm even worthy. And I wanted to share that with you because I told you my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Give me a thumbs up. Please share my videos. Uh, I mean, I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. A lot of stuff that people don't even talk about when they're talking about selling. There's a lot more to it than just... Just saying, yep, I'm a salesman. Oh, crap. So today we just talked about, you know, taking a, a, a personality, a personality test, a workplace for with criteria. Thank you. And like I said, I'll be helping some people possibly based on this test and everything and my good performance and the good information to be able to also, you know, as a salesperson, not only sell real estate and stuff, but I'll help people with AC, air conditioning, plumbing, you know, just a mirror of different things. So this test can help you get to the next level. So don't be afraid to take classes, courses and tests. Uh, yeah, sometimes they can be overwhelming. They can be kind of frustrating, but, you know, you can find out who you are, what you're 
been, is, and if what you're good at, and if you feel as though you are a salesperson, even if you're a quiet person, you can change. Get out there and sell something. And remember, if you have to take a workplace insight personality test, do your best, be honest, and do your best. That's all I can say. My name is Gary Lee Stanley. Thank you, sir, uh, uh, Criteria, for giving me a chance to make a little short video about this, this you know, opportunity to find out about personality tests and how they work. And hope you enjoyed something. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. So get out there and sell something. But be honest and take your personality test serious. Okay? Oh. All right.